Our solar system is a shooting gallery, and Earth is drifting right through the crosshairs. Every single day, millions of cosmic bullets, asteroids, and comets are whizzing through space. So, how has our planet been allowed to flourish for billions of years in relative peace? The answer lies with a colossal guardian, a giant that has taken countless hits for us. But that same giant has a dark side. Its power to protect is matched only by its power to destroy. This is the story of Jupiter, the king of the planets, and its dual role as both our protector and a potential threat. We live in a deceptively quiet neighborhood. The silent, graceful orbits of the planets mask a chaotic and violent reality. Our solar system is littered with the leftover materials from its construction, like a celestial building site that was never fully cleaned up. We have trillions of icy comets in the distant Oort cloud, and millions of rocky asteroids just next door. These aren't just passive rocks, they are the rubble of failed planets and wandering ice worlds, and their paths can be terrifyingly unpredictable. Every so often, a gravitational nudge sends one of these objects hurtling toward us. Think of it like being in a crowded hallway. The slightest bump from a giant can send a smaller object careening off in a completely new and dangerous direction. We've seen the evidence of their destructive power etched into the face of the moon and in the scars on our own planet. The dinosaurs, almost certainly wiped out by one of these impactors. The threat is constant, and it's very, very real. So, what's stopping history from repeating itself, today or tomorrow? The answer is a gravitational titan, a silent hero whose very presence has shaped our destiny. The Guardian meet Jupiter. It's the largest and oldest planet in our solar system, a gas giant so immense that you could fit about 1,300 Earths inside it. Its mass is a staggering two and a half times that of all the other planets in the solar system combined. This sheer scale gives Jupiter an almost unbelievable power, gravity. After the Sun, Jupiter is the gravitational kingpin of the solar system, and for billions of years, it's been using that power as our cosmic shield. Astronomers often call Jupiter the vacuum cleaner of the solar system for its habit of sweeping up stray debris. Its immense gravity creates a well in space-time, a cosmic pothole that alters the path of anything that gets too close. Long-period comets, which rocket in from the frigid distant Oort cloud, often have trajectories that could put them on a collision course with Earth. But as they pass Jupiter, their paths are bent. Many are captured and pulled into a fiery death in Jupiter's atmosphere. Others are deflected, like a stray billiard ball, and flung out of the solar system entirely, never to return. It's a relentless, silent defense that has been playing out for eons. Without Jupiter, impacts from these city-sized mountains of ice and rock would be far more frequent, possibly making Earth a much more hostile place for life to evolve. We witnessed this protective power firsthand, in July 1994, astronomers around the world pointed their telescopes at Jupiter to watch an incredible celestial drama unfold. A comet named Shoemaker-Levy 9 had been discovered a year earlier, but it wasn't a single object. On a previous pass, Jupiter's immense gravity had ripped the comet to shreds. Now, a string of pearls, a train of over 20 fragments, was on a collision course with the gas giant. For six days, the world watched as fragment after fragment slammed into Jupiter's southern hemisphere at over 130,000 miles per hour, 200,000 kilometers per hour. The impacts were unbelievably violent. Each collision released more energy than all the nuclear weapons on Earth combined, creating fireballs that rose thousands of kilometers above the clouds and leaving dark, Earth-sized scars in the atmosphere that lasted for months. The shoemaker Levy 9 event was a wake-up call. It was the first time humanity had ever directly observed a collision between two solar system bodies. And it was a terrifying, sobering reminder of what Jupiter saves us from. 
Had that string of pearls been aimed at Earth, it would have been an extinction-level event, plunging our world into darkness and chaos. Jupiter took the hits for us, its cloudy face bearing the bruises that could have been ours. It was undeniable proof. We live under the protection of a giant. The complication. But is Jupiter always our friend? What if that same immense gravity, the very force that acts as our shield, could also turn against us? The story of Jupiter isn't that simple. The same power that protects also has the potential to threaten, making our relationship with this giant far more complicated. The problem is gravity itself. While Jupiter can pull objects in or fling them away, it can also act as a cosmic slingshot. An asteroid that passes Jupiter at just the right angle won't be captured. Instead, it'll be accelerated and redirected. NASA uses this gravitational boost to send spacecraft to the outer solar system. But when it happens to a random rock, the consequences are unpredictable. Recent simulations have challenged the simple Jupiter as shield theory, suggesting that for every object Jupiter deflects away, it might nudge another onto a new, potentially hazardous path. In fact, some studies argue that Jupiter may actually increase the threat from certain objects. By constantly stirring the pot, it might send more objects scattering in our direction, then it cleans up. We've seen it happen. In 1770, Comet Lexel passed terrifyingly close to Earth, closer than any other comet in recorded history, after Jupiter's gravity flung it into the inner solar system. A few years later, Jupiter's gravity yanked it back out again, a stark demonstration of its power to both send and recall threats. On top of that, Jupiter's influence is the reason one of the biggest threats in our neighborhood exists at all, the asteroid belt. This vast ring of rock isn't a failed planet, but the rubble of a planet Jupiter never allowed to form. Early in the solar system's history, Jupiter's powerful gravity acted like a cosmic food processor, constantly churning the material in this region. The violent collisions shattered any aspiring planets, preventing them from ever clumping together into a single world. Today, Jupiter's gravity mostly keeps the asteroid belt stable. But it's not a perfect cage. The gravitational tug of war between Jupiter and the Sun creates weak spots in the belt. Think of them as unlocked gates in a fence that can and do allow asteroids to escape and wander toward Earth. So, while Jupiter protects us from distant comets, it may also have created and now maintains a permanent source of nearby threats. It's a paradox. The shepherd is also the one who occasionally lets the wolves out of the pen. The delicate balance. So, is Jupiter friend or foe? The truth is, it's both and neither. It's a fundamental force of nature, completely indifferent to our existence. Our survival in this solar system isn't the work of a heroic protector, but a cosmic accident. A delicate, almost improbable balance. Models of the early solar system like the Grand Tack Hypothesis, suggest Jupiter once moved through the solar system like a giant bowling ball, completely rearranging the pins. Its journey likely shaped the very architecture of the planets. This chaotic migration may have been both a blessing and a curse. By scattering asteroids, it might have acted like a cosmic delivery service, dropping off water and the ingredients for life on a young Earth. But that same delivery service also unleashed a meteor storm known as the Late Heavy Bombardment, a period of intense impacts that would have sterilized the planet's surface. The existence of life on Earth is therefore balanced on a knife's edge, dependent on Jupiter's exact size, location, and history. If Jupiter were smaller, its shield would be weak. If it were larger or in a different orbit, its disruptions could have sent a constant barrage of asteroids our way, or even destabilized Earth's orbit. The conditions had to be just right. We needed a bouncer for the solar system, but one whose gravitational temper wasn't so chaotic that it would destroy the very thing it protected. And so, we live in the shadow of this giant. It's a symbol of both our security and our fragility. We are protected by its immense gravity, 
a shield that has taken countless blows for us, most spectacularly with Comet Shoemaker Levy 9. Yet, we are also threatened by that same gravity, a cosmic slingshot that sculpted the dangerous asteroid belt and can send destruction our way without any warning. When you look up at the night sky and see that brilliant, unblinking point of light, you're looking at more than just a planet. You're looking at the force that made our world possible and the one that could, in an instant, threaten its existence. Jupiter is our silent guardian and our indifferent menace. Its story is the story of the cosmos itself, a place of immense power, breathtaking beauty, and profound uncertainty. Our existence is a testament to a delicate equilibrium, a gravitational balancing act on a cosmic scale, maintained by the giant that both protects and threatens humanity. And in that knowledge lies a profound awe for the fragile, beautiful accident that is life on Earth. This duality, this tension between guardian and menace, is what makes Jupiter so endlessly fascinating. It's a reminder that the forces shaping our universe aren't good or evil, they just are. Every new mission, like NASA's Juno spacecraft, helps us unravel these complex dynamics. The more we learn, the clearer the picture becomes of the fragile balance that allows us to be here. If you find this cosmic balancing act as captivating as we do, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss our next journey into the wonders and dangers of our universe.